This evening we're going to be taking out a, a few of the Zeiss uh, DTI thermal um, spotters. We've got four of them we're going to be having a little look at and uh, just a general overview of those and uh, the differences between the different models. Then we're going to take a couple of them out uh, a bit later and have a look, see if we can find a few deer or a fox or something to have a look at and uh, get some footage for you guys. The DTI range has been around for a little while now and you remember last year we had a look at the 335 and the 325. Uh, well, uh, Zeiss have now expanded the range quite a bit uh, from the 1 to 6 uh, range. So we're going to take a couple of those out this evening and just have a little uh, look at them in a bit more detail. This is the uh, DTI 1. Uh, this particular model is the 25. There's also a 19mm one as well. These are the most uh, compact and smallest one in the range, and it's also the basic sort of entry level one. It's nice and lightweight and compact, drop in a pocket, probably an ideal spotter for stalking. It's got a 384 by 288 sensor, so 12 micron, and the suggested range is out to 1300 meters. Right, moving up, we have got the DTI 335. Now we used this one um, last year in our review, but this is the newer version of it. Uh, this is generation two. And uh, this one's got a slightly wider uh, field of view. So they've improved the hardware inside and added a uh, AMOLED display. So the image quality is improved. It's got a range of 1300 meters and I would assume that's on a man sized uh, target. It's got a eight hour battery life and uh, it's also got a smart standby mode to increase that uh, run time even more. It's got a 384 by 288 sensor and this one's the 17 micron version. Right, so we're moving on up to the 4 series. Uh, this is the 435. This has got a 640 by 512 sensor. Uh, good wide field of view again. So again, ideal for stalking in wooded areas. Got a range of 1845 meters, again of a man-sized object. And the 50 mil version of that should push the range out to 2600. And then this one is the DTI-6, which is the top of the range. Uh, and as you can see, it's a completely different animal, this one. You've got like the roller zoom on the top there. And uh, you can also interchange the lenses. So this one, has a 640 by 512 sensor in it and a detection range of up to 2000 meters and a high definition AMOLED display. So on the Zeiss DTI 4 and 6, they've introduced the new smart image processing, which will give a high quality image. And overall, you can see the uh, design is somewhat different from the, the other models there. Um, this one, you've got a different eye, eyepiece there. It's more like a binocular style eyepiece and a little bit more comfortable. And you, it's also been designed to use uh, with or without gloves as well. So that, that roller feature there is definitely something you'd easily be able to do with gloves on. There's also lots of um, options available to you to customize these. Uh, this particular one has the ability to customize your own color palettes if you want. You can adjust the speed of the zoom to, uh, to, to suit your needs. You can also remove some of the color palettes if you wanted to. So if for instance you regularly use white hot and black hot, then you can knock out the red hot and the uh, fusion type um, color palettes. And also on the DTI-6, it has a removable battery uh, in a compartment just underneath. So all of these can be connected to the Zeiss hunting app, which allows you to live stream to a phone or tablet. And depending on the model, you can also customize various features and uses uh, within the app. As you can see, Zeiss have um, now brought out a, a kind of a model to to suit all budgets and also all types of hunting, whether it be um, sort of close in work in woodland, deer stalking, or long range fox shooting. 
So let's take a couple of them out and uh, have a look, see what we can find. We'll take out the four and the six. So just had a fallow doe and a youngster there just go up through this field and um, it's quite interesting to, to see actually how going through the different colour palettes on there how it just sort of made the uh, made the animals kind of pop between the trees and um, I reckon that red hot is pretty good as well because it, it's surprising just the animal alone kind of stands out nothing else so I think that would be a really useful uh, colour palette for the stalkers and that definitely. I thought it was going to come in, but it came in a little bit and then carried on. They're probably a cub, that one. They seem pretty, uh, pretty playful looking, so probably not too, not too wise as to what's going on. We'll soon, soon learn. <laughs>
Right, so we've just stalked out onto a road here there that was uh, just down the field and in the end, as I was creeping up on it, she ended up catching right down into the grass and uh, I'll give her a shout, give her a whistle, all sorts, waving my arms and eventually we managed to get a stand up so we could get a little bit of footage through uh, through the thermal. But um, yeah, it was pretty cool to be getting close on that like that. So we'll have a little wander around see if we can find anything else. Right, so we've just had the fox come in there as well. I just spotted him in the long grass further back there and just give him a little squeak. And uh, he came out and um, he came to, I think he was probably about 60, 70 yards from us and then um, decided he didn't like what he was seeing and disappeared back off into the trees. But that's pretty cool though to get that one coming like that. Right, well, we've had a good look around now and we've seen a few bits and pieces. There's quite a lot out this evening. And um, yeah, you can definitely see how the uh, the Gen 2s have, uh, have improved from the uh, the earlier ones. The earlier ones were good, but you can see that they've they've moved with the times and uh, they're cer certainly um, sort of keeping pace with the other stuff on the market. And they're pretty sharp, especially considering this evening we've got a bit of light, misty rain, um, but it hasn't stopped them performing very well so I think definitely uh, especially for, for like woodland stalking and stuff well both these units we brought out this evening have performed really well so definitely worth a look